This is video number two of the three videos I'm creating this week. These videos are designed basically to help you look within yourself. That's what my objective has been because it resonates with me. When I have a situation or when I'm trying to set a goal and accomplish that goal or reach that goal, one of the things that it always has me focusing on is the fact that I'm looking at myself, I'm looking within, how it's making me feel, how I'm reacting to situations, how I'm anticipating things, how I react when things don't go the way that you know I anticipate them going or I would like for them to go. Those things matter to us and unless we actually consciously pay attention to those, we can get caught up in not paying attention to them and not realizing that they're telling us something we need to do. We need to uh, make some adjustments, right? Because have you ever had the situation where you you get angry, maybe somebody cuts you off or, you know, pulls in front of you, does, do something, and you just get upset. You're just frustrated, furious. And if you, if it clicks and you ask yourself at that point, why am I so upset? Why am I so mad? Because that little cut, you know, in front of you shouldn't have triggered that type of reaction, right? It's, yeah, it's okay to shout and, you know, maybe, you know, use a few ex explicitives or expletives, but it's not necessary that you take it any farther than that. And you have to be able to pull back. Because we live in a world today where things are moving, 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 moving. Multi people are multitasking, people are doing this, situations come up in their lives. The government is acting, you know, in an irresponsible way a lot of times, and we're having to react to that. And we're going through the day today, many of us under a certain amount of pressure, um, sometimes self-inflicted, sometimes um, undue pressure. Sometimes we think things are going to be a certain way negatively, and that's what happens. <laughs> you know, if you think, you know, you're going to get a situation where you're going to be evicted, because of decisions that you made, you're living under that umbrella, that's probably going to happen, right? Because you made that bed, so to speak. And you thinking positively is not going to make that change. You have to do things positively and do things differently, right? So I want you to just think about when you decide that you're going to do something, hold yourself accountable to that. Don't just say, okay, well, yeah, I'm going to do it, and don't do it. If you're going to be someplace, go there at that time. Don't say you're going to do it if you don't intend to do it. Don't commit to doing something if you're not going to follow through. Because that is that, those things establish patterns. And you'll be unconsciously say to someone, yeah, you can count on me. Having no intentions <laughs> that you're going to follow through. And you're not even, it's not even registering with you that you're doing it more and more. That's how human beings are. We become what our habits indicate. Whatever it is that we habitually do, that's who we are. Like it or not, right? But you can change those. You can always change those. But first you have to identify that you have those habits. And then make the corrections. Okay, the next thing I want you to look at as far as you deciding to do something is can you do it <laughs> you know think about that can you do that is it possible for you to do because many times what we believe is impossible for us we still try and do and there's a imbalance there if you if you don't believe you can do it you'll never be able to do it that's that's the way it works you know if you believe you can do it if you work toward it and you learn everything you can about it and you keep working and you keep persisting, if it's possible for you, you can do it. You can do it. But you have to believe that. And you have to believe where others won't believe. It's like when you start something, you have to believe that you can do that. When you want to write a book, when you want to create a video like this, or when you want to um, maybe create a CD or audio or something like that, you have to believe that you can do it. And you can do it because people are doing it all the time. 
Actually, it's one of the ways people are generating money because they create products. And what I like to share with people is when I create a video or an audio or a book, before that, that didn't exist. It was non-existent. Therefore, it could make no one any profit, could bring value to no one. But once I create that product, then that product has the ability to move people in a direction. It has a, a, the ability to move people's lives and I know that and it would have the same effect for you and a lot of times people will say things like this I want to help people you can help people by speaking to people let people hear your voice let people understand you know I don't, who, I don't know who that person is but I really like the way they talk I like the way they think because people think like you think you know we want good things in life but we know that that's not life if, if we have the, some of the finer things that's great but if we don't life is still can still be great for us right it's not necessarily that you're wealthy it's necessarily that you're happy within right because that's that's what life's about but if you can do the both if you can combine them then that's even greater right because you can be happy and wealthy absolutely but it's difficult because you know you start to focus on different things like that, you know, $75,000 vehicle you have outside or that, you know, $500,000 home you live in, those things have a tendency to, you know, escalate your, your thought processes and put you in a place mentally that you shouldn't be if you can't handle being there, right? Now, this is video number two. Stay tuned for video number three. And remember, like and share, make comments, say, you know, I don't like that, or, you know, I like that, or however you want to do it. But you can rest assured that this year, this quarter, February, March, April, you're going to be seeing a lot of Larry James. So, get used to it. SpeedWithLarry.com.